Hi everyone, welcome back to another current household update and this is, I'm continuing my five year celebration legacy challenge. I've done a few of these videos before where I go into more depth about what the challenge is. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on that today, but in a nutshell, it's a 10 generation legacy challenge that I wrote and I'm currently playing through, testing it, updating it, tweaking it, all that stuff. And th we basically play for each expansion pack in order of release for The Sims 4 for the first five years. So I, I kind of wrote the challenge when it was the fifth anniversary of The Sims 4. So the first gen was get to work and outdoor retreat. The second one was get together and spa day. Third one was dine out where I left you last time. And now I am working on the latest um, generation, generation four, which is city living. So let me talk about uh, how I finished off gen three three actually because at the end of the last video um, they will be linked in a playlist down below and at the end of the video if you want to if you're new and you want to go back and watch the story so far because this has been a long story this family has got pretty huge i'll show you the family tree later but when i last left you chloe was still a um i think she was an adult rather than a young adult and she was Basically, she completed all of her tasks for her generation, which was to get a five-star restaurant, which we did. Um, and there were various other ones as well. She had to, what did she have to do? She had to complete the cooking and gourmet cooking skill. She had to get a five-star restaurant. She had to have an affair um, and have a child by one of her, well, she didn't have to have an affair, but she had to have a child by one of her staff members that work at the restaurant. So she had a child with the chef. Uh, she, uh, in her own like story, she's been married twice and divorced twice. Um, the, this uh, this lady's not had a, an, an, an easy life. So she did manage to complete her five-star restaurant. We had to sell our restaurant actually, because we ended up, the restaurant just wasn't making any money. It made no profit whatsoever. So she ended up so selling her restaurant after it started, the star rating started to go down. And then she, um, she sold it for quite a tidy profit, which is why we got quite a bit of money in our household funds because she was getting into debt. She had to like take out loans. She couldn't afford her loan repayments. She was divorced. She's trying to raise her daughter. Um, and yeah, so she ended up selling the restaurant and then go back into the chef career. Um, and then the last task at the end of the last episode, well, the last update I gave you, she had to complete the experimental food posters collection. If you don't know what this is, this came with Dine Out, where if you go to the eat gourmet food I think it's gourmet food oh no it's experimental food you can take a photo of it and collect the photos so she had to complete that as part of her generation and we did it there's 20 photos and we did that um yeah and there's been <laughs> there's been a quite a few more surprises along the way so Chloe um I can't remember where I left you at the end of the last episode but Chloe had three kids at one point she now has five and I'll explain what happened but uh let's just have her oh Let's turn that off. Let's just have some gameplay actually running. She's sad and heartbroken. Oh my god, somebody died. I don't know who died. Somebody died. Um, but poor old Chloe. She is literally... It did pop up to say that it's nearly the end of her life. So perhaps, you know... <laughs> we're gonna lose Chloe soon and it's just like... It's so sad. Oh no, I can't lose Chloe. I love Chloe so much. Um, But at the end of the last episode, I talked about how she had an affair. Her husband had an affair. She got pregnant by her affair, which uh, produced Abigail, who is her was her youngest daughter at the time. She's had two more kids since then. But this is Abigail, and she is who we're going to continue into Gen 4 with and who I've been playing with. I am streaming this now. I didn't start off streaming it, but now I'm streaming it every Tuesday for three hours. So if you want to come and join, feel free. My Twitch link will be down below. Uh, yeah, so every Tuesday for three hours we stream this legacy, and it's so fun. We had such a good... We've had such good times. Like, we've had <clears throat> we've had wild parties. I'm also, I've also got a little hashtag going. She's a rebel team. Um, if you guys want to create any lots or sims, I've got a hashtag. It's hashtag PhD Rebel. So people have been creating friends for her to have, like lots. We've got like um a bowling alley, we've got like a we've got a sketchy skate park, we've got um we've got like an abandoned hideout, we've got an abandoned treehouse, uh, we've got like dodgy dive bars and stuff. So if you want to get involved with that, definitely um upload anything you've got to the gallery with the hashtag PhD Rebel and I'll be checking that out. But um uh yeah so chloe basically got divorced um after she had the affair that produced abigail she then married the chef who is abigail's dad um but things didn't work out they ended up getting divorced and chloe 
Chloe keeps going back to her first husband, Connor. Connor was like the love of Chloe's life. She, like, this is Connor. Um, she has got a special place in her heart and holds a candle to Connor, her first husband. And if she hadn't cheated on them, maybe they could have worked things out. Connor's now moved on. Connor's got a new partner and has had a, a, two kids with her, I think. But after Chloe's, um, well, before Chloe's divorce, her and Connor hooked up. They had a few cocktails one night. They were celebrating New Year. or like they bumped into each other. It was a mess. They ended up having a hookup. Uh, Chloe thought they were getting back together, but they weren't. He said he's in love with Hannah, his new partner. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's it was a big, fat mess. A big, fat mess. So they had one night of passion after they got divorced let's say and chloe got pregnant again and oh my god she had twins so chloe's now got five kids she only has one at home with her four of them are with connor and one of them is with uh raphael who she had who was a chef who she had the affair with i'm so sorry if you are completely lost this gen has got so complicated but essentially Chloe was married to Connor. She had two daughters who were Genevieve um, and Mackenzie. I think the family tree's effed up. I don't know what's going on. Oh no, look. So she had Genevieve and Mackenzie. She then had Abigail when she had an affair with a chef who was called Raphael. And then she hooked up with her ex-husband and had twins, which we named Connor Jr. and Connie. And that was kind of a bit of a stab at Hannah because... Uh, Hannah is um, Connor's new partner and Chloe honestly thought when they after that night of passion, that hookup, she thought they were getting back together. She was like, yep, that is it. Sealed the deal. He still loves me. He wants to be with me. This thing with Hannah is never going to work out. So she went and told Hannah that they had slept together um, and um, Hannah was like, yeah, I already know. I've forgiven him. We're going to be a family now, blah, blah, blah. And so she named the kids Connor and Connie. Just it's kind of like a little stab at hannah i don't know it was a mess such a mess anyway but let's just let's just leave that there that mess there if you want to um catch up i've recorded all of the twitch vods on my second youtube channel if you don't know i've got a second youtube channel where i post all my live streams um we're doing 100 baby challenge we're doing sims 2 we're doing animal crossing we're doing pokemon ooblets um yeah so um they're all posted if you want to watch that I think all of Gen 3 is actually posted there now. So if you want to watch it, oh my God, you're in for a ride. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's done. Basically, she has finished. We have done Chloe's generation. I'm just going to get up what she had to do on the rules. Um, so for the rules for her Gen, she had to get married whilst working as a chef. Check. Um reach level eight of the culinary career and complete your aspiration yes quit your job move to sam machino she always lived in sam machino she didn't really move open a restaurant check complete cooking and gourmet cooking check host a gold level dinner party check get your restaurant to five stars check get divorced whilst running your restaurant move out your spouse and then existing children check get romantically involved with a staff member and have a child by them check um and the child will be living in sam machino and is the heir to gen four Check, that's Abigail, and collect the 20 experimental food photos. That was what she had to do in her life, and uh, she did it. And now we are moving on to Generation 4, which is this lovely lady, um, Abigail Cranfield. I freaking love Abigail. I love her so much. She is one uh, difficult child, let's say. I'm going to pop you into Cass and show you her, her outfits, because we did do all these on stream, and it was really fun. It's really fun to create them. I'm just going to turn the music down for the game because it'd be loud. Um, so let me show you Abigail. So she is currently a teenager and she's adorable. Um, she's so cute. So she's got several everyday outfits. This is her first one. Um, she is a kleptomaniac. She's a vegetarian. She is a city native, which is all part of what we got to have. And her next trait when she grows up to an adult will be hot headed um uh, so that's her first outfit her second outfit third outfit which i love fourth outfit i absolutely adore and then her 
her formal wear is this very sophisticated for a teenager i didn't want her wearing a dress i just didn't think she was a dress sort of person so that's her formal outfit her sports sleep um party wear which i adore swimwear looking like a queen hot weather and cold weather which again adore Oh, I had so much fun giving her makeover. It's so cool. But let me read you out her little description. So, Generation 4, City Living. You are the black sheep of the family and raised by your mother alone in the big city. As a chef and a foodie, your mother disapproves of your vegetarian lifestyle. You love it inside my shoe, though, especially since you befriend the guys who hang around outside your apartment and play basketball. They're a bad influence on you, though, and you find yourself skipping school and getting into trouble a lot. Perhaps it's just your way of getting attention from your mother who's busy running her restaurant. You eventually grow up and straighten out your ways and decide to pursue a career in politics, enabling you to help kids growing up in the city. That's her sort of description. So currently she's a teen and she's going through the rebellious phase. This girl do not go to school. I don't think she's been to school since she was a child. <laughs> oh, she's oh dear bless her i will put some screenshots at the end of the video uh, but yeah she hadn't been to school she just skives off every single day and to be honest her mum knows her mum's not dumb she knows she throws these parties in her house she just oh she's sad because she's not eating vegetarian food uh, i always forget she's vegetarian um so in terms of what she needs to do uh, it says, remain in San Manchino your whole life. Complete your city native aspiration. I don't even think we've started. We haven't even started that, to be honest. Attend all of the festivals at least once and grab some swag. The only one we've um, done is the Mischief Festival. I don't think we got any swag, but we did get a voodoo doll and humor and uh, the, ca the candles. and Because we won. So we got all this good stuff. So I don't know if that counts as swag. If not, when it comes around again, I'll go and grab it. But I'm thinking swag in terms of the t-shirts and stuff that you can buy. Uh, do not allow your school grade to go above a C. Um, well, she definitely hasn't done that. Hers is an F. She's an F student. Uh, skip school whenever you feel like it. She does it every day. Uh, add two character. Uh, have two character values in the red by the time you age up into a young adult. Well, she is doing super well with that. She's got an awful reputation in terms of our public image. And she's got poor responsibility, poor empathy and conflict resolution. So we're definitely doing that. Um... Steel items add up to ten thousand pounds. We are on about two and a half thousand. Xavier, will you go to prom with me? Um, graffiti at least one pavement and wall inside my shoe. No, I don't think we've done that specifically. Um, join any protests you see happening. I haven't seen any, but we definitely shall. I think we need to go over to the spice district maybe. Um. Uh, move into your own apartment as soon as you become a young adult and have at least one child before you're halfway through your young adult life stage. Well, she's been, um, she's been doing a bit of risky woohoo. Uh, I have got risky woohoo set. She has a, no, it's not a boyfriend. She, he keeps asking to be her, he's like, let's make these things official. She's like, nah, nah, nah. But she's got Vince, uh, she's gonna invite him to hang out at the prom lot. <laughs> no, you can't do that. You're, you've got a date. Vince will be right over. So Vince is her... Um, he's actually quite sweet, to be honest. Vince is her, let's say, boyfriend, but it's not. Because she doesn't want to make things official. She doesn't want to tie that knot. Uh, is she tired? Oh. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking she might get pregnant by him. Um, but I don't think they're going to last, to be honest. He's sweet, but she's not sweet. She's the opposite of sweet, to be honest. She's a... She's a mean girl. <laughs> she's a mean girl. Um, um, but she's going to change. Don't you worry. Uh, so what else does it say? Um, have at least two enemies before you age up into an adult. Now, she has some enemies. I don't know if they're declared enemies. Let's have a look at her relationship panel. She's definitely got people she dislikes. So she dislikes Leah for some reason. Uh, she she had a go at the Grim Reaper, why not? Bess, she doesn't seem to like very much. Jeb, she doesn't like. Tamika, she hates. Tamika used to work at her mum's restaurant. And her dad, she hates. Uh, Hannah, she hates for obvious reasons. Um, Catalina, Brinley, Nikki, Celeste, Regina, Esther, Nicole. She hates all of these people. She, I told you, she's just not a nice girl. She's just not a nice girl. <laughs> um, uh, do you not have a job until you reach adulthood? And that's full adulthood rather than young adulthood. 
So we need to make money through stealing, etc. Um, and then we have to join the politics career. We don't have to complete it, but we have to get to the point where we can choose the charity branch. And we also need to complete the Snow Globe and City poster collection, which we have been doing pretty well, kind of finding it them kind of just like quite easily. So we've got one poster left to find and two Snow Globes left to find. So we're doing pretty well on that one. And that's everything she needs to be doing. Um, let me just show you her. She doesn't have a job. She's an F student. In terms of her skills, she hasn't really got a lot of skills. Mischief is her main one. She's level nine in mischief. Painting level three. I assume that's just because she'd be doing graffiti and street art and stuff. Charisma, handiness, dancing, bowling, mixology, cooking, singing, comedy, video gaming, research and debate. All level one. Um, yeah, and I think I've shown you her personality. I love how she's got an awful reputation. She also does have a club. Um, she's got a club called the Ruckus Rascals that she says she's a kid. And we've got Rebecca, Jason, Kiara, Aiden, Vince and Alexa in that club. So I think I'm going to leave this here. I will insert some screenshots at the end just so you can kind of get a, an idea of what we've been doing. Look at her. She's like, why is this woman talking to me? I don't want to be here. I don't want to talk to her. But uh, yeah, if you would like to join us uh, on stream, Tuesday, 7 p.m. UK time, link in the description down below. If you want to catch up on the previous stuff, there's VODs over on my second YouTube channel, link in the description down below. And I will see you in another video. Bye, guys.